Samira Hussein there. Enrico will actually have much more on this story on Asia Business Reports straight after this edition of Newsday. But now let's bring you up to date with some of the day's other news stories. The U.S. House of Representatives will vote on Wednesday on whether to impeach President Trump. It's almost certain that they will press ahead with a trial in the Senate over claims that he tried to get Ukraine to dig up dirt on the son of his political rival, Joe Biden. But the Senate is controlled by the Republicans, and this is what they're saying about events. So just some of the views there. Now, also making news today, a court in the Philippines has thrown out a case in which authorities were seeking the return of nearly $4 billion allegedly looted by the country's late leader. Now, Christmas has come rather early for these animals in London Zoo, not far from these studios, actually, because with just a week to go, just over a week to go, you can see the animals receiving their festive treats. These are the ring-tailed lem le lemurs. They're eating uh, sweet potatoes hidden in stockings. And this is Azim the Sumatran tiger, who was presented with some choice cuts of turkey in a gift box that he is uh, getting through rather admirably. A group of former senior fire and emergency chiefs have been meeting in Sydney in Australia, calling for the federal government to better prepare the country for the worsening extreme weather events. While well, speaking to reporters in just the last few minutes, one former fire commissioner said that there is a leadership vacuum in Canberra when it comes to dealing with climate change and the deadly bushfires that have swept across the country over recent months. Well, monitoring that now, and these former senior fire and emergency chiefs they they certainly let their feelings be known thanks for staying with us i'm cash madeira in london our main stories Rico, thank you very much now as the number of refugees worldwide rises to nearly 26 million the first global refugee forum is to be held in geneva the meeting on Tuesday is to be hosted by the United Nations Refugee Agency, which says supporting the safe return of displaced people to their home countries is a key priority. Well, ahead of the meeting, I spoke to Enrico Radwata, the director of UNHCR's Regional Bureau for Asia and the Pacific. Thieves have reportedly stolen 50 million pounds, that's $66 million worth of jewellery from a property belonging to the daughter of the former Formula One boss, Bernie Eccleston. Tamara Eccleston had apparently just left the country for Christmas when the burglars raided her home in central London. A warning, this report from Daniela Ralph has flash photography.